And our next guest needs no introduction. He's won every award there is. He's ready to make a big comeback to North Texas for the first time in seven years. That's right. We are excited about this one. This will be Garth Brooks's first time ever at AT&T Stadium. It's a big concert, as we say good morning to Garth Brooks. Joining us live, I feel like I need to put the cowboy hat on if we're going to do this interview <laughs> properly, Garth. I don't know if you can see us on video, but I'm leaning oh, yeah, into our country great. vibe this morning. Hey, you look great, man. Good morning. Hey, good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. And I, I do have to say, I went to one of your Texas Stadium concerts back in the 90s. I was blown away by how big that show was. How do you possibly top that at AT&T Stadium? Can you even top it? Yeah, man, I just think you bring in a bigger stage, just make everything bigger. I mean, the stadium's different. That was uh, Texas Stadium now versus uh, AT&T. And, and the stage is going to be fun. But the truth is, it's what's coming out of those speakers, right? And I think it would be a crime to go in there and not do all the old stuff, play all the new stuff, just uh, have people kind of saying, please, man, enough's enough. That's what we're going to try and get to that night. And so how many shows are you planning to do at AT&T Stadium? You've had record-setting audiences across <laughs> the world. I'm just wondering what this one's going to look like. It's one of the biggest stadiums in the planet. Are you kidding me? We'll be lucky to, we'll be lucky to have some people show up. Man, We feel very fortunate. Uh, you know, I was noticing right before this, this is, this is tough economic times. So people going through this to come see you as an artist, that's the sweetest thing that they can do. So mm -hmm. whoever it is, if it's, if it's five, if it's 50,000, if it's whatever, just get ready, bring your helmet. This should be fun. I mean, if this sells out immediately as we expect it will, is there any possibility you could add more shows here? Guys, I appreciate the thought, but damn, you're, you're talking about, <laughs> you're talking about one of the largest names that might have the, sta the records, uh, you know, of all stadium tours with, with George Strait coming through there, uh, I'll uh, trust me. That will be uh, that will be something that uh, I don't think we're going to have to deal with here. I'm going to be lucky to get in there and get to play. Uh, okay, so you've said, look, playing here is a bit like coming home. What's special for you about playing in North Texas specifically? Well, before you guys were bored, because when you said you came to Texas Stadium, your mom had to bring you, right? So <laughs> you guys, You're uh, too kind. <laughs> it's. <laughs> Uh, you know, we were there when it was uh, nowhere's uh, but Texas, borrowed money, uh, the Southern Junction out in Rockwell, you know, Crystal Chandelier, Cowboys, all those places. This is where you kind of began, and this was it. These are the people that fed you when you couldn't afford to feed yourself and housed you when you couldn't house yourself. This was the place. We lived our first year of our career down right around Dallas-Fort Worth area. Just, uh, just love that place, love those people. You made a joke about how long ago that was, but you've charted in the 80s, the 90s, the yachts, the teens, and now the 20s. So when you look back over your library of songs, how do you pick what you're going to play for a concert like this? Because if you played all the hits, you'd be there for hours. <laughs> Man, it ain't up to me. It's up to the people. That's fun. So the set list usually has at least two, maybe three songs on it. After that, you just watch. You, you, the people tell you they'll bring their signs. They'll, they'll do it all. And it, it, it's just so much fun. And what's fun about that is... Try to remember, man, it's the same band and crew that when we played those dive bars there. So Palmer's still on drums, Gant's still on piano, McClure's still on steel. It, it, it's crazy how much this is just what it used to be. So we come down to Texas and we feel very much at home. They've got us. So we'll start the show and then they'll start taking it over. And then everybody enjoys the ride because nobody knows who's steering the ship. Amazing to work with the same crew for such a long time. What gets you guys so excited for these shows. What keeps you motivated? I mean, keeps the energy up show after show after show. It is. It's exactly doing that because we're not coming to Dallas because we've never been. We're not coming to where the Cowboys play because we've never been. We're coming because we have. There's where the fun is right there. It's a guaranteed good time, man. It's just, when people saw Dallas come on, the, when all because our, our band of crew doesn't know what the schedule is either. They just have weekends blocked out. And when they all saw Dallas, man, there's just that smile on your face. It's just nice to know that you're coming home. I love it. Do you have a favorite song? One of our viewers is asking, what's your favorite song to perform and why? Yeah, well, your favorite song, my favorite Garth song of all times, way back off the first album, a song called The Dance. Just kills me. But my favorite song to perform, hands down, is a song called Call in Baton Rouge, which was off in pieces. I, I don't know if people come there to hear Friends in Low Places or Thunder or whatever, but it kind of just flies under the radar. But once you introduce it, the crowd goes to a place they've never been all night. And it's your job as an entertainer to never let them come back down. The number of tears I've shed listening to the dance, reminiscing <laughs> about those high school days, Garth. Thank you for hanging out with us this morning. It's been a real treat. Guys, thank you. I look forward to seeing you. Good morning.
<laughs> good morning. Hey, if you guys want to see Garth, Good Morning Texas is giving away tickets all week long. So you got to tune in today and tomorrow at 9 a.m. for your chance to win. And the tickets do go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. You can log on to Ticketmaster.com slash Garth Brooks or call their number 877-654-2784. You can also use the Ticketmaster app. They're going to limit you to eight tickets per purchase. I imagine a lot of folks would like to buy more than that. Mm -hmm. the seating will be in the round. Tickets are 98 bucks, all inclusive, which surprisingly sounds like a pretty good deal. I know it's expensive for a lot of folks, but it's worth it for Garth Brooks.